Now, I want you to think about the approach that I've been using so far. And then I want you to have a look at why I'm asking you to stop and pause before we look at questions like these. We were going to and then I decided to leave it till today. Okay? There's some real problems with these guys. Cos x equals zero, sine x equals zero. Um, there are a couple of problems, but the biggest one that I think is most obvious is this one. See this step in here? You can't answer this question, is cos positive or negative, is sine positive or negative, because zero is neither. It's not up, it's not down, it's, it's that special number that isn't either of those. Okay? So therefore, a different approach is required, which is why, and I'd like you to do the same, could you draw a tiny unit circle beside your working here for me? Draw a unit circle for me. Now as you do that, I'm going to help you uh, wrap your head around this new strategy which goes all the way back to how we redefine the trigonometric functions. We said no more right angled triangles, we said the unit circle. Right? On the unit circle, what are cos and sine? I'll give you a clue, they have something to do with coordinates. What's cos? Cos is the... Hmm. It's alphabetical, right? It's alphabetical. So cos is the x coordinate and sine is the y coordinate, like that. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Now, if, let's do part C first. If cos is the x coordinate, if cos is the x coordinate, that's about horizontal, right? So where on the unit circle has an x coordinate, an x coordinate of zero? Where on the unit circle? Okay, so the origin is zero, zero. It has an x coordinate of zero. But the problem is, it's actually not on the circle. Like, I'm looking for spots on the circumference, right? So therefore, I think, that's helpful though. Look at the spot above. See this guy here? That has an x coordinate of zero, right? Uh, in fact, you know the whole coordinates. What are the whole coordinates? Zero, right? And there's another one, isn't there? Down the bottom. There's this guy. It's zero, negative one. Okay, now think, think, think. Both of these spots have an x coordinate of zero. That means that cos of, I should have said theta, that means that cos is zero at these points. So what are the angles that go with those? 90, that's 90, that's 270. And sure enough, I mean, we actually did this the first time we looked at the unit circle. If you go ahead and grab your calculator, chuck in cos 90, chuck in cos 270, sure enough, you will get zero. Okay? Okay. All right, now, Ryan, did you have a question? So for this one, um, the short answer is no, because what happens is for these we, we get the base angle and then we use it in a quadrant. The real reason why this is a problem is because it's not in a quadrant, do you notice that? If I had to ask you which quadrant is 90 degrees in, it, yeah, it, it's not in this quadrant or this quadrant. 270 is the same, it's not in this quadrant or this quadrant, it's just kind of there. Okay. Kind of, kind of, sort of. Let's do the last one, draw another unit circle for me. Just a little one. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So sine x is which coordinate? Sine, sine is the y coordinate, right? That's, when is it zero? Here and here. Do you agree? Here and here? Okay, so what's the angle for this? The angle for this guy is zero. This is the starting point. What about this one? Now, I want you to look at all the questions we've done in solving these um, trigonometric equations so far, okay? Do you notice that over and over again, frequently, um, we get two solutions, two solutions, uh, two solutions, two solutions, okay? Um, just like here, when you have a quadratic, you kind of expect two solutions, except if you think you'll recognize there's actually a third solution for this one. That's why I left it last, okay? Let me show you. The, the first place you get this answer is zero, right? When you whip around to this one, that's 180 degrees, and that's where you get this solution. But if you keep going, 
then you end on 360. And where is 360 degrees? It's back where you started. It's back where you started. So this one's a bit weird. It's got three solutions. There you go.